today I am going to show you how micro stepping drive works with the stepper motor. So I have ordered a micro stepping drive called Easy Drive from the eBay. And first you have to make it by soldering all the connectors. You can see they have sent this connector set and the driving board. I found this website with uh, some useful information about how stepper motor works and especially at the end you can see uh, there's some description and uh, small animation about how micro stepping and how increase the resolution of the rotation uh, via micro stepping you can read through this article and you uh, can understand that if you like. This is the module after soldering all the connectors. On the right side you can see all the information related to this device. This is the closer view to show you the pin configuration of the module. Let's see how we can connect with this Arduino. So I'm going to use 4 pin stepper motor but this device support 4, 6 and 8 pin stepper motors also. Uh, anyway, we can see uh, there's a 3 pin call ground step and dir this dir is for direction you can change this one to zero and i'm going to use the port two for this and step pin is to give steps to drive the motor and ground pin is as usual this for ground. I'm going to use port 3 for this step in pin and uh, other than this uh, you can see there's a uh, power in connectors. This is for power up the motor that you are going to connect with the uh, motor connectors. Uh, we can give 5 to 30 volts depending on the motor requirement. Uh, there is the voltage drain that this device support and I'm going to use uh, these four motor connectors for connect my stepper motor these are the item list that we are going to use for this project uh, I was able to find a four polar motor uh, from old CD-ROM I have connected four wires for its uh, stepper motor to drive this uh, tray up and down and uh, driver for the motor and 6 volt power connection as usual it's Arduino you know and breadboard for maintain all the connections let's see how we can connect all these together Okay, I have connected all the connections together. Uh, this is the complete setup of the project. You can see uh, stepper motor, driver connection, step in, and the direction pins are connected to the uh, number two and three ports, as I mentioned before, and uh, also use ground connectivity. And uh, I have used uh, external power supply to power up the motor and the Arduino both. Uh, these are the four connections to the motor. Uh, our project setup is now complete. Uh, we can connect with the PC for the programming part. Okay, let's start the program. So I'm going to start the Arduino. I'm going to program this module. Uh, rotate some rotation in clockwise and again it rotate the anti-clockwise. Then you can see that tray moving back and forth. So let's move the program. First, I'm going to initiate the pins that I'm going to use in the Arduino and uh, set up the pins initial state under the void setup method. I set the DIR pin as low to set the direction next time. Uh, we set the DIR pin high and go through the loop. 
and I'm going to write a common for loop within this for loop I'm going to change the stepping pin into high and low states and at the end I'm going to add a delay in microseconds now I'm going to start the for loop to rotate in the other way around so I'm going to set the DIR pin, it's mean direction pin into high. So same do going on here also. So I'm going to copy and paste. So our code is up here. Let's see. Uploading. If there is no syntax errors, it should upload successfully. Yeah, you can see it's done uploading. So let's see running this application. Now we successfully upload the program into the Arduino board. Now we can power up and see this laser tray going up and down. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you.